Hello everyone, welcome back to part two of my Left Alone playthrough. We've got the power back on, we've got an end of the school now. We found out that the janitor murdered some kids and has disappeared and he's probably following us. Maybe it wasn't our friends who roofied us, maybe it was that guy. Uh, and now that we're in the school, our friends have said they found paint and they painted the walls uh, with these arrows to come find them. Instead of just waiting next to the door, as soon as they got in there, we could leave. They hauled themselves up in some room and have painted the way there. That was a very weird hallway for a bathroom. God. See, I, I know, you know, horror trope, you know, the power's on in the. I can flush the toilet. The power's on in this building. Why would anybody go in there? But I have seen in real life where like abandoned buildings still have power running to them for some reason. Uh, I mean, maybe it's some kind of like code thing that they have to keep the lights on so somebody doesn't get hurt. I don't know. But I have seen this in the real world life. Maths room, Mr. Hopkinson. A working calculator I won't take. Calculators are lit up though. Date 1110, Mr. Hopkins. So January January 1st, 2010. Ooh, can I turn this on? Maybe? We're out. We have just got a question mark on the computer. Maybe that guy's never seen a computer before. Oh, I got some more batteries. Pop those in real quick. What kind of crappy school makes you go to school January 1st? That's a holiday. <laughs> Sorry. About the cough. Uh, my allergies are terrible right now, and there's a bunch of dust in the air since this windstorm we've had come through. Hard work is a two-way street. You get back exactly what you put in. Not true. Not true. I don't want to open it. Can I? I can't open it. Oh. Ah! Would they do this for you? Excellent question. I don't think they would. That is creepy. Please sit down quietly and begin the assignment on your desk. The second part of this lesson will be your favorite algebra. Enjoy your double lesson. Mr. McIntosh. Teacher report. I have enjoyed enjoyed my time at school, but I find it dif di difficult to make new friends because people don't seem to I enjoy my enthusiasm for entertainment and sports. I hope to get better grades next year. Physical education is a strength, work harder in core subjects. Chris excels in physical education, enjoys undertaking all elements. Chris ain't doing so high. Unless a four is good and the ones are bad, or vice versa, is one bad and the fours are good. I don't like the fact that, that door bang. Let me bang on the other side of that door. Let's see. There's the hard work thing again. Maths room. This one's locked. Mr. Ruckus. So my friends are this way. Do we do we do we search around a little bit? Let our friends stew and think about what they did. There's another keypad for room. I need a crowbar. Ha! A computer lab. I have got to be more careful of the batteries I'm using. We got three left. Anything worthwhile over here? Please sit down. Brian Dillager, Chris Dealer, please report to Principal Beast. Hi. How, sh how shitty would that be if you, you know, you show up to school ready to learn or, you know, what have you. Go to your homeroom or first period and then I'm just on the board says, go to the principal. Like, why not, why not stop me before I get comfortable? Science lab is locked. 
English is open. I do speak good English. He still runs these halls. Get out while you still can. Lovely. Who is he? <coughs> is he the creepy... Ha! Ah. I knew something fishy was going on. Why would he want to meet me here? I hadn't spoke to him for ages. Then out of the blue, let's meet in a forest. I should have known. Maybe Dave found out my affair with Michelle. Was that him dressed in the long coat? Good job. I'm a military man. He came up behind me, but I was able to disarm him. I tried to restrain him, but he got away. He caught me pretty bad. I'm going to find him and end this once and for all. He acts so innocent, but he's a troll freak. She didn't love him anyway. Damn. Are they talking about me? Is this one of my friends? Who slept with my wife and then... Oh, hell no. Oh, hell no. A lot of keypad and there's flies somewhere. Hello? Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Is that the murderer? What was that? Was it Mr. Jingles from the New American Horror Story? I don't like that at all. Is that the toxic waste? That could be the toxic waste. Oh no. I don't want to explore too much if there's somebody walking around who's gonna kill me. That's a lot of paint. Wait, okay, this is the only room they could be in. Oh god, it's just stairs. We're gonna shut the door behind me. Aha! Science is okay, I guess. Reading from the books bores me. Another, another student. It's gonna be like the little reports of all the students this janitor guy killed. Okay. So my friends are this way somewhere, but I can't get to them because I need a key card. It's very dark. For having turned the lights on. Stairs this way. Store. Well, no wonder they got toxic waste. It's just sitting here. Looks like oil and water mixed together. I don't want to step in it. Art? Yes. Well, maybe. Art, your stuff. They definitely have a very good ambiance going on. The paint is more toxic weight. Mr. Grant is sick to the class will be taken by Mr. Tyler, the janitor. Is that what how he got to the kids to murder? Or is that why he murdered the kids? Oh, I found a key. He the janitor was like, alright kids, I'm gonna teach you art. And he drew a picture and then the kids gave him a bunch of crap for it. That hurt his feelings, so then he murdered the kids. What was that? The crowbar. There's a gym mat. Now that is super boarded up. I hope they explain the toxic waste and how it got into the school. So we're looking for a locked computer lab. I swear I hear another set of footsteps. I don't see anybody. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't. <laughs> Maybe the janitor's, you know, 
dropping a deuce and he went to the bathroom and locked himself in. Shut that. I'm gonna run into one of those situations where I shut the door behind me and then immediately regret it. You can see most everything in here. I got some more batteries. Sweet. Oh, hold on. Why did I... Why have me... Unlock this room? There's nothing in here that I need. I figured it'd be maybe like code... Okay, so I found out that I can turn all the computer screens on, and I was met with these symbols. And a lot of noises started happening. So... We're just gonna write down star... Triangle... Circle... Shield shape thing? And what I'm assuming... Like, the shield is here. Shield matches up with that. If we go out in the hall... This is number seven. So the shield is seven. Just, just kind of what I'm going off of. Uh, just kind of getting y'all with my train of thought. So I think I need to backtrack to see where these other symbols are. Look on their board. So your circle. And we're going to look at your door. And see your number six. Okay, now we need star and triangle. This game does an amazing job with the ambiance. Ambience, ambiance, however you'd like to say it. Right, you're triangle, so you're four. Now we just need to locate star. Like, I've yet to see anything creepy other than, you know, the bloody cooler in the murder shack. And then the, you know, great out shake, shakiness when you're crossing the bridge and the chalk outlines. There's two. Two, four, six, seven. But other than that, I haven't seen any monsters other than the guy standing by me when I passed out after I got rupeed. That wasn't like super scary or anything. This is, you know, this game does a great job building that atmosphere. Two, four, six, seven. He doesn't like that. Let's try it in reverse. Seven, six, four, two. Now. Okay. We got two keypads to work with. So hopefully my thought process is correct. And we can move on. Don't get out of breath. And that other key code was upstairs. Wasn't it? Yeah. That's a key card. Oh. Key card, key code. Kind of the same. Locked gymnasium. I'm glad they didn't do like the stereotypical murder as a gym teacher, though. Okay. Don't want to step in the toxic waste. That's boarded up. For the sake of exploration. Okay, I. Yeah, it won't let me do anything with it. Good to know. Can't turn the lights on. Where was that other code at? Down the main hall? Security room. Okay. 2467. Knowing to shut that, I need the crowbar still. Why do I feel like that was a horrible idea?
Oh, I can turn the lights on and off. Maybe. The ventilation system in zone 4 is currently broken. A call has been made, but the electrician cannot get out until Monday. George. So, I guess that means I can go through the security vents if I want to in that area. And not have to worry about getting chopped up. So. Memory stick. Restart. Can I do anything with any of this? <gasps> Camera. Just give a little peek at these. Oh wow, what's that? Substation outside. Grab this. I managed to find the code of the security room. It was written in a notebook. Must have been one of the security team members. Lucky I didn't find that. I sat through what felt like hours of video chase. I finally found something. The janitor had taken two students down in the laundry room. I knew there was something about that room. He had one of them tied up. He made him watch as he beat the other with some sort of weapon. Oh my god. It was extremely hard to watch, but it's good evidence for my story. I can see it now. Police cover up, beatings, and torture took place in school hours. Right under the nose of the head teacher. Strong, but effective, I guess. Time to get out of here. Great. That's what I like to hear. Probably the crowbar I need. Uh, next to some poor beaten student. Is this anything worthwhile? If the power cut occurs, please use the power distribution board to decide which zones need accessory necessary power. Only three zones can receive power at one time. Including the school lights when the backup power mode. Zone 1 requires power at all times as the generator and security room need electricity at all times to manage power throughout the school. Power to zone will turn all wall sockets of ventilation on. Plot thickens. I guess we'll try to get the crowbar from the dead student, I guess. Uh, we do have that thumb drive. And there was that computer with the question mark. Use memory stick. Okay, now what? What is going on? Oh. Please be advised that the code of the storeroom has been changed due to an incident in which some students had an altercation with the janitor. The students managed to obtain the code and lock the student in with the janitor, which led to the allegations and investigation. But it's now been dealt with. This new code is 3129. So these kids were just torturing the poor janitor, who finally had enough and snapped, and then ended up snapping children's necks. I mean... Kids are mean. Really, it's the kids' faults all this happened. They're torturing the poor Jim. I'm gonna assume that was just a glitch of the graphics, but what the heck that was. Oh no, creepy hallway. What was that down there? There's something down here. Why are there beds? No, oh, boarding school. Keeping this all a secret has been pretty easy since, well, forever. But recently, these meddling kids won't leave me alone. They're on to me, I know it. I'm going to have to do something about them. Term break is coming up soon. I'm sure no one will notice if they don't make it home. Soon, wow. Soon the school will be no more with the toxic waste plan about to happen. They think they own me. They need me. I have protected them for years. They are not going to take this away from me. I need to have my fun before this place becomes a ghost town. I might keep the Malvi one as a pet. Okay. I take back everything. Just taking it back. Taking it back. Everything I just said about the janitor being... Nice, I take back. I hear footsteps or something. He was insane. Before all this started, and the school's just covering everything up. Oh, 
Why are you hearing the janitor? I got bolt cutters. I could hear noises. Moans from the basement. It seems to be from the laundry room. The door is solid. No way I'm getting in there. This must be where those innocent kids... Incidents happen with the kids. The school is really messed up. I think I saw something down one of the corridors. I don't know what the hell it was. It was short, quick, really strange looking. Maybe I'm just seeing things. Nah, I'm definitely seeing things. I'm going to see if I can find any more information. Maybe some clues? And bolts. Sure, generally gets full power. Full of fuel. Pull the correct corner, engage power. Three school zones at one time. Contact the security room to change where the power go. Oh. So this is where shit hit the fan. I am seeing something like at the end of the hallways or something. I, I think... Or I may just be going crazy. I mean, that, that could be a strong possibility. Uh, but I do have bolt cutters now. So there was... The gym. The gym had the bolt, the chain around it. So we're going to go to the gym. See what we can find in there real quick. It's getting creepier and creepier the longer this goes on. <laughs> the noise in the chain breaking got me. Hello? Hello? Ugh, gyms are creepy in general. You have the creepy probes. Footsteps would not sound like this in here, though. It had that, like, super echoey noise. Guess we're going to the creepy locker room from the creepy gym in the creepy school. Okay. Why is there somebody always like one step ahead of me locking or unlocking stuff? Hey man. I need crowbars. Oh. Let's just take a leak real quick. Just, oh. This is one of the few horror games I played where the toilets aren't like full of bodies or something or gore. Nothing found. Take that. More batteries. Thank you. I love me some batteries. I have a crowbar, so apparently I could defend myself now, right? You think? Oh, so many batteries. Oh, yeah. Quarter note. I want to leave through the fire door, but of course it's locked. It's like I'm in a horror game. <laughs> I'll find... Foreshadowing. I'll find another way, but first let me take a selfie. Let me take a selfie. Bam, bam, bam. I'm looking. I'm joking. I don't do selfies. I'd ring my friend to come help me, but there's no signal in here. It just gets better. Shit. Just come back to the security room. I've hidden in the locker. I heard footsteps and the rattle of keys. No joking this time. Someone is in this school. Now the lights have just gone out. I saw him. He came in the security room. He was wearing a large coat and a hood. Was it the janitor? Surely not. He didn't hear me. I held my hand over my mouth. I'm really spooked. There must be an exit that's open. So there is somebody in here with... What the hell is going on? By God, the little light from the Pixar stuff grew up. It's all a lie, a cover up. What the fuck was that point? There is something! That's what I saw at the end of the hall! What is that? 
Shall I make you my next pet? Who is walking around with easels? Who this janitor walking around with easels to put this big picture kind of horror there, guy? I. Uh, do I go forward or backwards? Um. Oh no. Find the generator. I know where the generator is. Is that what was scary? Scary is just the power going out. I don't like the fact that I can hear flies. That means there's something dead somewhere. I'm going the wrong way. It was in that storage room back down the hall this way. You can pop another easel out in front of me like you can read. <laughs> Scared yet? Question mark. How creepy would it be if, you know, he's like, do I make you my new pet? I'm like, yeah, you know, get down on all fours, pop on a collar, you know, start acting like a pet. I heard it's pretty lucrative too. I want to know what the weird, creepy thing was crawling around. Can I shut that? Well, I know what the light bulb was for now. Needs fuel. Where would I put fuel? Outside? Gotta find some gasoline. Oh. Oh, crap. He locked me in here. Well, seems like a good a place as any to go ahead and wrap up episode two of Left Alone. Things seem to be picking up. So if you like what you see, consider giving me a thumbs up. If there's anything I missed, leave me a comment down below. Consider subscribing to the channel to stay up to date on the videos that I'm putting out. And I will see you in the next one.